If you're new to the channel, I'm Aaron Hallett, I write original Christian rock, and I uh, probably should be editing my video from last time, but I just want to write another song, so <laughs> swapped out the SD card in my camera, and I'm doing this. So I uh, have the same sounds I was using last time. I explained this whole thing, how I was like doing some of the stuff I w would have done in the past, and I just was like, nah, I want this to sound more like it's uh, on old tape or something like that. So I got like a really like busted guitar sound and I got like tape saturation plugins, except for the master bus. They're all on right now. Um, I'm going to turn the last one on when I'm mastering, but I just don't want it to make my vocals sound weird or anything right now. I've got a simple idea for a song. Um, I got a verse and chorus. It's like, uh, well, this is the verse. Input monitoring is not on. Hang on. There we go. And then the chorus. Anyway, I'm going to do a left and a right guitar, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus type stuff. <laughs> You're going to hear a drum loop. That's going to be just there to keep time. It's actually probably completely not what I'm going to play later. I think it's like going to be half the speed, but it helps me keep time while I'm tracking, and I like it better than metronome, so, you know. Anyway, here we go, left and left and right guitar. That worked. Uh, just FYI, the first left guitar, I didn't have it panned, so it was like up at center, but I fixed it when I started recording the right guitar. Um, I'm going to do like a higher up type thing just to fill out the chords, so probably like... And uh, I might be doing that right through the verse and chorus because it should actually work over the chorus too. Anyway, here we go. I uh, did a little bit of a lead on the right side. I might have hit one or two wonky notes, but it's really subdued in the mix anyway. Um, I'm going to do a guitar solo on the third verse. After that, I'll see what I might do a keyboard part or maybe a bass part first, but either way, let me do this now. I'm going to record the bass and... I improvise it, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to do a super easy keyboard part just for background, and after that I'll do the drums. I just got back from the gym. I ate lunch. I had a mo like a melody pop into my head. It seems to work over the song. So I put down some lyrics and I just came out here. I haven't even showered yet. So I'm going to have to do that immediately after I finish this up because I stink. <laughs> um, okay, so I've got a scratch track. Oh, let me make the uh, track I'm going to record on. This is like me just like crappily singing just to see if like lines fit and stuff. What do I got? Like I'll play the chorus. Yeah, that's the chorus idea. Anyway, I'm just going to start recording this, and uh, you'll see what it is. So I should be warmed up now. Let me meet that like usual. It's there for reference if I forget as I get halfway through the song or something like that. All right. I'm standing back. There's nothing left to find. Just like that. All you've ever known is God. I 
I think I'm going to dub the chorus. Actually, maybe I'm going to start from the verse just in case I like want to do some like impromptu harmonies there. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Just like that. I'm going to do more of that. That's done. Three parts, vocals. Um, yeah, cool. So that's it. The lyrics are in the description box if you want to check those out. They're kind of towards the bottom. I've got some links so you can go find my like YouTube topic page. It's one of those things where you just see like the band's album picture and the music plays and you can just like stream music on YouTube. Anyway, uh, that's there. I've also got a huge list of uh, where you can purchase and stream my music. Top three are like iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, that sort of thing. But just go to the one you use, type my name in their search bar, the same as the YouTube channel, Aaron Howlett, and you should find me. And also the top, I have PastorMelissaScott.com. That's there because I just said this is Christian rock in the beginning. So I put that there because it's like the best Bible teaching to find anywhere. Not like it is the best Bible teaching you're going to find anywhere, at least in my opinion. So Pastor Melissa Scott, Pastor Space Center in Glendale, California, she took over from her late husband, Dr. Gene Scott, and combined they got like 50 years teaching. When he passed away, she took over and just kept teaching just like he was. His teaching still plays on their uh, website. They have an app, they have a YouTube channel, and both of their teaching still plays. Well, they got a whole bunch of stuff, so just go to the website and you can find it. Um, the website itself is just a bunch of uh, study notes, information, things like that. It's not the usual kind of thing where they're just selling you know, a bunch of nonsense. It's actual Bible teaching, so that's the thing. You're going to find translations and outlines and all kinds of cool things. And the teaching itself, it's all about faith. It's about the Bible in context, all of it. Most people that teach out of like any church thing you're going to find are usually denominationally geared and centered and they've got their own agendas and things and they take scriptures and twist them out of context and it's a whole thing but that's not happening here it's all text in context whole bible taught that's it it's just teaching not a bunch of other weird outside things that people like to bring in it's just bible teaching so if you watch their streaming thing on youtube or on their app or whatever or just on the website all you're gonna see is teaching just straight teaching that's awesome the focus should just be on the Word of God. It should be on Jesus Christ as front and center of everything. And they teach faith, stewardship, all that kind of thing. I have it there if you want to see something that's not a bunch of nonsense like you're going to see in most other places. With that I'll say, though, about myself. Subscribe, like, comment, share. You'll keep seeing me. I'm going to keep writing songs. Um, Okay, I'm going to go take a shower because I stink after the gym and I can't stand myself right now. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Song's coming up right now. Enjoy. Turning back There's nothing left to find here Just like that All you've ever known is gone Turn from the fire Let me see your face There's one side you Yeah.